Well, the rain today complicated an already bad situation for many people. That includes a couple in Robertson County still dealing with the aftermath of flooding from last week. News 2's Sarah Smith went to their Cross Plains home today and shares more. A homeowner's nightmare. I'm about ready to just get in my car and leave. Jeff and Debbie Cunningham cleaning up this mess. We've had problems with the water drainage in the past, but never to this extent because we got so much rain on Wednesday, like 11 inches. They live off Calista Road in Cross Plains. The couple is upset. The storm drain across the street floods their property. They say the county claims they're not in a floodplain. He took his tractor and dug out sort of a retaining pond over there, and usually that holds the water, but this time, like I said, we've got so much that it came up into the garage and underneath the house. And I have called the county, but they've not returned my call. Not only did it flood the Cunningham's land, also their garage. They worry insurance won't cover it. I got climate control under there. I don't know how, if it's messed that up. Uh, getting my freezer and everything in the garage cleaned out, and hopefully we can get rid of that smell. It stinks in there bad. Jeff and Debbie say this is their dream home. They're hoping to hear from the county this week before more rain hits the area. I've always worked hard for, and we both have for everything we got, and to see stuff ruining like this, it's 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 depressing. Jeff and Debbie and their dog are all okay. We're trying to get them some answers on if the storm drain can be rerouted. Officials with the county say they'll call us back tomorrow. Bob and Haley, 